Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and today we're going to talk about removing pest pallies from my 24 gallon Nano. The problem I was having was I had these little teal pallies growing in with my other zoanthids, and to begin with, they looked pretty cool. The problem is these things will overgrow zoas without a problem and smother out the really cool zoas. So I had to do it, I had to get rid of them. So here's what I did. So before we get to working on the tank, we need to put our safety gear on. Now. Some of you may not believe the hype when it comes to palytoxins, but I've been hit by it and it's not happening to me again. So I bought these extra long gloves. Basically, they go clear up to my shoulder. I can wear these and work on my big tank, but the reality is water's not going in to these gloves. They are a little on the thin side, so you could wear some other nitrile gloves over it and that would help a lot. Also, while I was doing this, I went ahead and wore safety glasses and I put carbon in the tank. The carbon in the tank serves two purposes. Not only does it protect me by helping get rid of the palytoxins in the water, but it also helps protect the other coral and the fish in the tank. Because when I start pulling pallies out of this tank, they're gonna release those palytoxins, so we gotta manage that. To begin with, I went in and started pulling the pallies manually with tweezers. I went in and I just started grabbing every one I could find. This works pretty well. The only problems I found was I ended up pulling some zoanthids I didn't want to pull. They came up with the pally, and of course, I ended up leaving little pieces of pally in the tank. And this also became a little harder because as I worked, the pallies and zoa started closing up, so it was hard to tell what I was working with. So for the first treatment, I went ahead and got as many as I could and pulled them. And then basically every morning before work, I went through and grabbed more pallies. I just went and grabbed them every day. I'm down to about four in the tank and then I've got a separate little rock on the bottom that I need to start working on. But for the most part, it appears to be working. So this is gonna be a slow, long-term process. And the reality is this process isn't gonna be for everybody. First, if you wanna save the coral you're trying to pull out, this probably isn't the best way. There's a good chance that a lot of these pallies I pull out could live, but I wouldn't recommend this if you are trying to propagate coral. I just wouldn't try it. It's not a healthy process to rip them off a rock. If you're trying to save them, go ahead and get a tile saw or a frag saw and cut them off the rock. Now, for a big tank, this would be really hard, and I have a feeling this is what I'm gonna end up doing on the 210 when I finally get to it. But I'm pretty happy with the results so far. So I think over time, as I grab these, I will be able to eliminate all of these teal pallies from this tank. They're actually pretty cool, but they go grow out of control, and the toxins they put out are terrible, so they gotta go. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.